Hello, welcome to this course for Adapter Creation in Avalara Studio. This is the landing page. We'll go to the Adapter section on the left. Click on Adapters. So there's an option where you can create new adapter or create a sample. If I create a sample, it will create a predefined adapter, a uh, sample adapter, which will have uh, some adapter details, methods, and adapter code already added. So this will have pre-filled adapter methods. Uh, you can go ahead and check this. Uh, check out the basic information, uh, adapter input parameters, uh, any input schema, code. Um, so all those things you can check using the sample adapter. Similarly, if you want to do it manually, so you come over here, adapters, click on create new adapter. And then you can create your own adapter from here. Add the adapter name, adapter version, some description. Uh, currently, we are supporting Node.js as a programming language. Uh, so in the future, there will be some more uh, programming language that will be supported. You can upload a logo uh, for this adapter that you have created. Select few labels to tag your uh, adapters and categorize them. So once this is done, click on save and continue. We come to the authentication part. Right now, Studio supports different types of authentication method. So we have OAuth 2.0. Or 2.0 client credentials, basic auth, API key, and bearer token. You can choose any one. So for OAuth 2.0, you can configure the user fields, add some your input user inputs, configure the set of fields like client ID, client secret, any scopes, the redirect URL, and then you can also configure the OAuth 2.0 endpoints. So these are the authorization URL, the access token URL, refresh token URL. So you can all config configure this. So this is used to connect to the ERB system or the third party system. Similarly, there are other authentication types. So for client credentials, uh, we have the set of fields. Uh, we have the access token, no authorized URL here. Then you have the refresh token and user identifier. Um, similarly, we have basic auth where you'll have username, password defined that you'll expect from the user. API key where you require an access token and, be and bearer token. Um, similarly, a bearer token will be required. So these are the different authentication methods that we will re uh, use. You can select any one of them and click on save and continue. Uh, if you are using uh, Avalara service, uh, you can also use this checkbox over here, use Avalara identity. So once I click on this, it uses your logged in user credential, logged in user account to access the uh, Avalara APIs or uh, Avalara services. Uh, this is an additional feature for adapter. Uh, you can skip this, but basically this is the HVAC validation. Um, so assertion rules for using API key and HVAC. Uh, you can configure them. Uh, for this demo, uh, we'll skip this. And then uh, this is where you'll create your adapter methods. And once you have created your adapter methods, you can save your uh, adapter. So there you have it. And this is how you have created your adapter. You can add more details uh, for adapter code. So we have that in the next course. Thank you.